Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sinantono and I'm from class C2020. And in this uh, occasion, I will present you 10 classroom management tips. All right, the first one is a, having a sitting chart on day one. First day is where students are confused and shy, especially with seats. So I have to arrange a sit, sitting chart for them so they can easily get used into the classroom management sitting. And second is having three to five min minute breaks for every session. We have to give them a break to refresh their minds and not to confuse with the, uh, the lesson. And the third one is greet students at the door every day. This is simple tips for teacher if you want to build a good relationship with your students, which simply greet them at the door every day. And the fourth, don't talk until it's silent. Wait for the students to stop talking and then give your instruction to them. And number five is use noise. Sorry, use noise to manage class volume. So group work is usually makes loud noises. So instead of blaming them for making noise, you can uh, use noise tips if their sounds getting louder, silence for four to five minutes. And then the six is avoid re redirecting with students by name. So uh, don't point their names because it will make them shy to answer questions, for example. All right, the, the last fourth is consider Starbucks mode during work time. So uh, make a topic that makes them uh, more, sorry, uh, I mean, the Starbucks mode is you when you're uh, giving them assignments so they can easily engage to the to the learning process and they can uh, focusing on the task. The next is do turn and talk as often as you can. So make a topic that makes uh, them more often talk with you or other students in order in order to build self confidence. The the ninth is don't respond to disrespect with more disrespect. So if you are uh, Disrespect, uh, if your students disrespect you, don't even try to reply with more disrespect because you could kill their self-confidence when they want to uh, ask you in an in a engaging learning process. And the last is have students fill out a half refocus form. So you have to make a reflective form to understand how the far the students' understanding ability in order to make them uh, can reflect their understanding about your material. All right, that's all for my presentation. Anyone want to ask a question? Can I ask? Yes, please. So, uh, do you think uh, don't talk until it's silent is effective to make your class quiet? All right, thank you for the question. I will answer right quick. So when you are, uh, your class getting louder and no noisy, it is a, it's an effective way to do when you uh, have a classroom with a bunch of students that have a loud noises. So you can use that tips for your uh, classes if you are uh, engaging in your learning process. I think it's really, it's really good for you if you want to uh, make your class sounds a uh, little bit quieter than the... Uh, the previous, I mean, in, inside the class, if you have a group work, you can silence for four to five minutes in order to make your class uh, not too noisy. I think that's I think that's all from my uh, answer. If is that is that answered your question? Hello. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for asking the question. I think that's all from my presentation. Uh, 
uh, I'm sorry if I have some mistakes, I think. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.